the Los Angeles Lakers in Atlanta to play the Hawks. It took a couple big buckets from LeBron late to get them there, but they beat the Hawks pretty handily. Jalen, what have you noticed from this road trip that the Lakers have been on? That LeBron James is, is extremely dominant and he doesn't take nights off. And that's mm. really impressive to me, whether they're playing against Cleveland, whether they're playing against the Hawks. The oldest, best player in the league isn't supposed to be this dominant from a night-to-night -night basis playing against other no. professionals. And he is. And LeBron James' game, Jacoby, has actually gotten better. He's become a knockdown jump shooter. Do you realize how much that opened up his game? I, so many years I saw people go under the pick and roll on LeBron, back off of him like he was Giannis. Now all of a sudden you got to pick up on him. And now that's opening up his driving lanes. So now you see LeBron James driving to the bucket. You like, he getting layups and dunks again because he's actually able to make shots from the perimeter. That's a really good point. And do you remember when you and I were talking about the short offseason and how LeBron was going to take a bunch of games off and really get himself, you know, rested for the playoffs? That ain't happening. He's like, you know what? I might mess around and be the MVP this year. But, Jalen, I've been watching a lot of these Lakers games, and I have to notice something. Anthony Davis isn't what we expected from Anthony Davis this year. He was blowing up in the playoffs, but had a couple funky games. Like, take last night, for example. 25 points. That's great. Two rebounds, Jalen. Two rebounds. For Anthony Davis, why has he performed well, but not exactly quite to some of the expectations we had coming into the season? So you talked about LeBron James and how he brings it on a nightly basis. He understands in the regular season, there's still things that he wants to get accomplished. And that could be being the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Continue mm. to climb the list of uh, uh, top assist players in the game. For Anthony Davis now, it's almost championship or bust. He entered a different realm, Jacoby. When he was with the, the, uh, the Pelicans, it was about getting to the playoffs, seeing if I can advance, becoming one of the best players in the game, seeing if I could be a top five player. Leaving to join the Lakers, it's can I team up with LeBron James with a story franchise and actually win it all? Yep. Now that they won it all, I need to see Anthony Davis still playing like that dominant top five player. And two rebounds? Two rebounds? I believe he's also dealt with some injuries. He's dealt with some injuries, Jacoby, so we got to cut him some slack. Mm -hmm. And also, they have so much depth that he don't have to score 30 and get he 15 doesn't. boards on a nightly basis. But don't worry about his performance. He's going to be there when they need him. They're still the clear cut number one, number two, number three favorites to win the championship. And it's going to fall on the shoulders of LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Well, we talked about their performance last night, but it was the performance of a couple at courtside that got all the attention after this one. By now, you know the story. Chris and Juliana Carlos, a married couple, will sit in courtside, one of about approximately 8,000 fans they're allowed to watch. Chris says something to LeBron, LeBron says something back, and then Chris's wife Juliana starts getting into it with LeBron and gets kicked out of the game. Big shout to LeBron for saying later that he does not believe it was warranted that they were kicked out of the game. But Jalen, what do you think about this interaction between LeBron and the fans sitting courtside? You know, as a native Detroiter, the Bay Area and Atlanta are, are our cousins. And just shout to Atlanta for being open, for having fans at the game sit in front row. It just made me feel good to try to get back to some sense of normalcy. With that being said, during the pandemic, I got exposed to a lot of different words that I weren't using before the pandemic. One uh -oh. of them that comes to mind is like entanglement. I wasn't necessarily using that word. It wasn't a part of my vocabulary. Um, physically distancing. You know, I'm a give dap give hug type of guy. Big hugger, big hugger. And then the other one is Karen. Whether somebody's bird watching in New York City, you know, whether somebody's accusing somebody else from stealing their cell phone, these real housewives of Atlanta sitting front row trying to heckle LeBron James for camera time for 15 minutes of fame, and you know what? We just gave it to her. We just gave it to her. Shout to her. Shout to her. Just a 25-year-old young woman out there watching the basketball game. So we are moving on to a team 
no one expected to be performing as well as they are right now. And that is the Houston Rockets, who just... Russell Westbrook's not on the team anymore, and James Harden's not on the team anymore. Well, guess what? Six games in a row, 7 of 10, the latest came against the Thunder last night. How, what have they done to be so successful the last couple weeks? So, dog, here, here's what we gonna do. I wanna make sure everybody can see and hear what my voice. Okay. We gonna put some respect on Steven Silas' name. Mmm. That's what we going to do. Because usually teams in one off season that lose their general manager, who many consider one of the, if not the best in the league in Daryl Morey, their head coach, who many believe helped usher in the seven seconds or less pacer space that we see in today's NBA and Mike D'Antoni, and a top five player in James Harden, who's led the league in total points and total assists. And you telling me that they hit 28 threes? You notice that we ain't talking about no gimmick with his name. They still mm. knocking down the three, though. 48 right? points in the first quarter. 48 right? in the they first still quarter. Knocking, and shout to John Wall. Boogie Cousins made five mm -hmm. threes. You know mm -hmm. how much I like Christian Wood. Great to see Eric Gordon out there playing and competing. This is the classic way that you trade a superstar and not tank. Jalen, here's the thing. You thought can do that, that when you have a head coach like Steven Silas who came right in and navigating magnificently with the Houston Rockets. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.